If you guys would like to win this free iPhone 7, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Training here bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're going to be bringing you guys 5 things that you probably did not notice in XXXTentacion's brand new music video for Look At Me. Now before we get into the video, if you guys can please smack a like on this video, that'd be absolutely amazing. And make sure you guys watch this video all the way through because I'm going to have one free Amazon gift card code for you guys to win. I'm going to put it on the screen very fast and then I'm going to hide it somewhere so everyone has a really good chance at finding it. And also because you're going to want to listen to the last two facts I have to tell you because these two absolutely blew my mind. I just want to give a huge shout out to my boy Countdown Trends. He's on the road to 2,000 subscribers. He's very close. Guys, if you want a shout out in my next video, you guys have to go subscribe to him. His channel link is going to be down in the description below. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him. Comment down on his most recent video saying I subscribed and then I will be sure to shout you out in one of my next videos. The notification shout out is going to my boy Vorbix. Shout out to you man. Thank you so much for having the channel notifications on. If you yourself watching this video right now with like a channel notification shout out start of my next video. All you have to do is turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying notification squad. So there is absolutely no doubt that Look At Me is XXXTentacion's most hit song he has ever created. On YouTube, the original audio for the song has clocked in over 72 million views and over 94 million views on SoundCloud. Now for an upcoming rap artist, that is absolutely insane. X has also just dropped his most recent album called 17 and personally this album is so sweet and it is so well put together, I absolutely love it. If 17 is one of your favorite albums that has ever came out, make sure you leave a like on this video because I'm curious to see how many people really enjoy this album. I personally love to listen to the album while I'm thinking of video ideas, editing videos, or just relaxing because it really does soothe me, especially a couple of the songs on the album. Alright guys, so we're going to jump right into this video. So starting at the fifth thing that you probably did miss in the video is that the white woman in the beginning is presented as a possession to X. She comes down at the start of the video saying, Behold my liege, I am your noble steed. Now for everyone who doesn't really understand that, what Behold my liege, I am your noble steed basically stands for is basically that X is that girl's owner. Now X is a very spiritual person and there is some weird thing that my friend was telling me about. I honestly didn't even know what this understood now x is a very spiritual person now you got to understand that when he says that this girl is his possession that's basically what he really enjoys and wants not a lot of people actually really understood the start of that but that is what that means at the start of the music video you'll notice when everyone starts barging into the classroom x is actually on top of her shoulders kind of riding her like a horse so saying that that girl is x's noble steed is basically saying like that is his property and he can do basically whatever he wants and can control her in any way he wants Starting at the fourth thing that you guys probably did miss as well, but at the start of the music video while they're in the classroom, if you notice how nobody is listening or paying attention to the white teacher at all. This ties into the most of the music video that I'll go into full detail later in the video, so make sure you guys watch till the end. But nobody wants to listen to the white man talk because how poorly African Americans are treated, especially in schools. Then X runs into the classroom and the whole classroom basically starts jumping and assaulting the white teacher. Now this will make a lot more sense later on in the video, so make sure you guys just watch the rest. So for the third thing that you guys probably did miss, but X did a really good thing with this music video by sharing a really well spoken message. Now obviously you guys all heard at the end of the song, but he is really smart about this move that he did with this music video. He used his most known song that he knew everybody would click on if he had a music video for it and he wanted to share a positive message. That was honestly really cool of X and he's actually really someone I didn't really know was like that because I'm just starting to like really get into X's music and his personality. A lot of people just think of X to be some hardcore trap artist that will die down in a couple of years but honestly I see X going really far in the rap community. He's so different from other artists because he actually cares about equality, he cares about everybody being equal and he just wants the world to be a much better place. He kind of reminds me of the rap or logic if most of you guys know him all he cares about really is equality and basically just everyone being one whole solid unit so yeah the third thing that most of you guys missed was basically 
him b clickbaiting, if you guys know the term clickbaiting, he basically clickbaited everybody into watching the video to share a positive message, which was very, very well put of him. I honestly didn't see that coming at all, but if you do notice, this actual song, Look At Me, is probably only being played in the music video for maybe 50 seconds. Alright guys, so starting at the number 2 fact, but X actually posted a little Instagram video of him hanging himself. Now this was posted about 2 weeks ago, and everybody thought this was a teaser for a new album, which it kinda was. But he did just admit on his Instagram live story that he this teaser that he posted on Instagram actually wasn't for the album at all. If you guys noticed in the Instagram live video, which nobody did, he actually had 17 tattooed on his forehead in the top left corner, I'm pretty sure. Not lots of people actually noticed that, but he was trying to like hint that he was making a music video and dropping an album in one Instagram clip. Now sadly I can't show the clip because the, like, the new YouTube policies my video will get taken down because YouTube is basically just trying to ruin everything. But if you guys go watch his Instagram live video you'll see the tattoo of 17 on his forehead on the top left. And if you just go watch the music video that he just dropped you'll also see it much more clear there. Now I'm not 100% sure who basically runs XXX and Tassion's business moves, but this guy definitely deserves a raise of some sort because he always comes out with the best ideas I've ever seen. Alright guys, so starting at the first fact, if you guys are watching to this point right here, I want you to leave a like on the video and comment down below saying I'm watching till the end because I want to know who is here for this last one and make sure you guys listen closely. So for this music video, X really wanted to make a statement of showing that Black Lives Matter. Matter. Me personally, I think this music video was absolutely perfect and did that to a key. It really did prove how black lives do matter and it just shows how badly African Americans get treated. You'll notice that in during the music video you'll see a bunch of cops doing bad things to African Americans when they're not doing anything at all. And also in the music video you'll notice that a very young black kid and a very young white kid are on a stage and X chooses to hang the white kid just because how overprivileged they are from African Americans. Now the message he was trying to send across this music video actually basically did a huge impact especially on social media because Black Lives Matter were trending on Twitter once again. This stirred up so many things because he wanted to just, he wanted to send a very clear message that everyone should be equal, nobody should be treated different because of their skin color or how they act. And in my opinion, everybody should be equal. Skin color doesn't matter, nationality doesn't matter, nothing matters, everybody's equal, everyone is the same inside. And it actually honestly disgusts me how African Americans get treated, especially in the United States. They get treated pretty much like garbage from the police and it's absolutely disgusting. Alright guys, so if you did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter at Dasties. I'll have it on the screen right now. If you're watching to this point, screenshot and send me the ending clip of my Twitter to me on Twitter and I will follow you on Twitter. Anyways guys, it's been District Trending. Peace out. Now I'm not really 100% sure how many people are actually watching to this point at this moment like right now but if you are and you do make videos and you do make videos with either a MacBook or any sort of MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, whatever, how is that good for video editing? Now I've been looking into a couple of laptops because I really want to buy a laptop so then I can do edits whether, whether I'm at my girlfriend's house or whether I go to school or anything like along the lines of that. Because editing does take a pretty big chunk of my day and it would be a lot easier to do that while I was on the run or while I was at home, whatever. So if you are watching to this point and you know anything about laptops, what would be the best laptop to get to be to do like you know editing videos now basically I my budget is anywhere from zero to about thirteen fourteen hundred dollars so anything in that range what would any of you guys recommend of me buying I was really looking into the 2015 MacBook Pros but I don't know like a lot of people are saying not to get a Mac but then so many people make videos on Macs so like I don't know I'm so confused if I should get a MacBook Pro or like an MSI laptop or a Razer I'm not really 100% sure on what I want to get. So if you are a video creator and you're watching at this point, please let me know down in the comments below. That'd be much appreciated. And if you want to get in contact with me, my Twitter's on the screen right now if you want to give me some more tips because I am honestly know nothing about computers. So hopefully a couple of you guys can help me out. Peace out.